Alright guys, let me take you back to a magical time period in American history. It's called the early 90s. Parachute pants and vanilla ice were hitting up the music scene. The internet was about as slow as a turtle on Ambien, and the most popular children's TV show was Mighty Morphin Power Rangers! The show imported from Japan and repurposed as another show that involved plastic suit monsters fighting against teenagers for the fate of all the universe or some shit, whatever. Anyway, it was awesome and that's all that mattered. Now this was the original cast of Power Rangers during Season 1, but during Season 2 there was a little bit of a change up. The characters of Jason, Trini, and Zack were replaced with three new characters named Aisha, Rocky, and Adam. And this is the guy we're talking about today because the character of Adam Park, the Black Power Ranger, was played by Johnny Yong Bosch. And I would say he is probably the most successful actor that's ever come out of Power Rangers, period. This guy is legit, okay? Now let me just say, I'm a huge Power Ranger fan, but I admit when the show was really popular, I kind of the boat. You see, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers started airing in 1993, which was the same year I was born, so I missed a lot of those earlier arcs of the story, and I didn't start watching until the sixth season, Power Rangers in Space! Now, despite the fact that Johnny was no longer a main cast member at this point, he left in the middle of the previous season, Turbo, his character still resonated with me in a big way, because there was one episode in Power Rangers in Space where Johnny came back to reprise his role as Adam, as sort of just like a cameo appearance, but this was a big deal for me as like a five or six year old kid, because it's with that appearance, you know, he comes back and tries to motivate the, the current Black Ranger into, you know, fighting again, and he goes back in the Mighty Morphin suit and he kicks ass. See, I had no idea that there were previous seasons before this so seeing this as a little tyke that really blew my mind because I, it opened my eyes to all this different like wait a second there's there's backstory there's there's others there's other seasons there's lore there's there's other characters aside from the ones in space and that really got me interested in Power Rangers in a big way and kind of like opened my world up to it so even though he wasn't a main cast member and only appeared in one episode that episode always a chance in Power Rangers in space is one of my favorite episodes of Power Rangers all time and that's because of Johnny Young Bosch's appearance in it even if it was just a cameo. Johnny reprised his role one more time in Power Rangers during Operation Overdrive, during the 15-year anniversary special where he showed up to lead a, a team of past rangers to, you know, uh, help out the uh, the current uh, Overdrive rangers, and that was the last time he appeared on the show, which was a, was a pretty solid reunion episode given what they had to deal with. Now, um, it's funny because uh, most people would always say to me that that's like a handy little piece of trivia for Johnny Young Bosch. Like, hey, did you know that the guy that voices Ichigo also does, uh, the, also portrayed the Black Power Ranger? But I feel like now in 2017 that's not really a that's not really a piece of trivia i'm pretty sure most people are aware of that at this point if you didn't well get on the boat but uh, the point of this series is to talk about other stuff beyond the voice acting aspect and uh the things that are obvious other stuff that this uh voice actor has been doing in their life so uh let's see what johnny's up to well he's a musician for one he taught himself how to play guitar and he's the lead vocalist and kind of the front man for the band i shine you know in preparation for this video editing and again writing for it and everything i was actually listening to nothing but i shine in the background while i was doing all that stuff to kind of get a feel for their music and i i really genuinely like it i'm a fan of like alternative rock like Panic at the Disco and All Time Low and stuff like that. And uh, the way that Johnny describes his band is like edge rock, you know, taking cues from grunge and alternate rock and punk and pop and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of genre, I would highly recommend them. They currently have seven unique uh, studio albums. I feel like Johnny is more well known for a lot of his major voice acting roles nowadays. And he does some great voice acting work and he lands a lot of uh, main character slots in a lot of anime. Uh, but the band is pretty solid in its own right, even though it's a little bit underground. Emmy Award winner Don Wass actually did a contest called Gimme the gig and the point of the contest was to determine which is the best unsigned band in the United States and I Shine participated however they made it to the finals they fell short however there was a second competition give me the gig two and they're the ones that won at the end of the day he also has a background as a martial artist which is I think a lot of uh, people that have played on Power Rangers have at least a little bit of training in martial arts but he was actually I, I think in the process of learning uh, Kung Fu and uh, his uh, mentor there actually you know tipped him off that they were looking for somebody for this you know this show Power Rangers and that's actually how he got hired to the job, or that's how he became aware of the show. In fact, uh, fun trivia note, he was actually the youngest cast member ever on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. He was 18 years old uh, when he uh, began the show in 1994, so yeah, that's pretty cool there. Also, uh, during Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, his uh, stuntman actually broke a leg during training, and uh, Johnny had to do a lot of the stunts himself, which are pretty extensive and in certain scenes. you know, that, That's all him, that's all Johnny. So, uh, very skilled martial artist, don't really want to mess with him in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> 
Also, a little trivia note about the movie. Do you remember that scene where Adam gets uh, his new powers and it takes the form of a, a spirit animal and it's a frog? And he has that scene where he's like... I'm a frog, and it's just like, it's like, oh yeah, you're a frog, but you're still pretty skilled and all that shit. Johnny himself was the one that came up with the idea of uh, having his character, you know, being disappointed that he's a frog, but I don't care. Frogs are awesome. Finally, moving on to the many anime roles he's had, I don't even know where I begin with this. Um, his first major role was Vash the Stampede in Trigun, which is uh, not, okay, honestly, I don't like Trigun as much as probably most people do. But it was still like a main character role that he got pretty much out of the gate. So that really is something that jump started his anime career. Other than that, I have a long list here and I'm not going to go through everything because he's been in a lot of stuff. But just his most noteworthy roles and the stuff I've seen personally. Uh, Ichigo from Bleach. Pff, I, bet, I bet you guys didn't know that. Did you guys know that Johnny Yong Bosch voiced uh, Ichigo Kurosaki? Little, little minor piece of trivia note here. Um, he also voiced Shotaro from Akira, one of the redubs of Akira. Akira is one of those really famous, you know, animated movies that really, I think, catapulted anime sort of into the uh, mainstream, in America anyway. So there's, of course, the Japanese version, but there's also, I think, been more than one English dub of it. Uh, the first dub of Akira that I watched was the one that Johnny voiced at Sh uh, Shotaro. I actually have not watched Akira in a long time, though, so I should probably go and check that out. It's probably been probably close to 10 years since I've seen it. Uh, he's also voiced uh, Sasori from Naruto Shippuden. You Tokyo from Blue Exorcist, Braz D. Blood from Blood Lad, Jonathan fucking Joestar from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and Nate from Yokai Watch, which I have not seen, but apparently it's really cool for the next generation. We've been getting a lot of Yokai Watch merchandise at the store I work at, so apparently it's really popular. Is it really popular? I, I, I guess it is. Whatever. Nate's the main character, which uh, Johnny plays. And in terms of video game fandom, we have uh, Nero from Devil May Cry 4. Don't really have to say much more than that. Dude voices Nero. Uh, so yeah, that is Johnny Yong Bosch. Oh, one more piece of trivia before I go. Did you know Yong was not originally his middle name? Yeah, his original middle name was uh, Johnny J. Bosch. I believe, but when he was hired on on Power Rangers, I guess they told him that they wanted a more Asian type name when they were crediting him, so he actually took part of his uh, mother's name. His mother is uh, Korean descent, I believe his dad is of Irish descent, and uh, that's where the Yong comes from. But that's just, isn't that kind of weird how, like, the, the freaking uh, TV studio will actually, like, Saban, I guess, came to him and was like, yeah, um, you know, you have the part and everything, and you're pretty cool, and you can, you know, do all this shit, you can do your stunts and everything, but, um, yeah, we're going to have to ask you to change your name if you want to be on this show, just so people know that you're Asian-ish. I felt that's a little bit weird, but I don't begrudge him for doing it. And if we didn't take up the offer, we might not see him in the limelight as he is in today. So, uh, Johnny, good job. I hope you guys found this video informative. I, keep, I hope at least one little factoid in this video was new to you. And uh, give me some recommendations for the next ones. I already have some of them lined up, but uh, Johnny Young Bosch was a huge request. You know, when I asked last episode, you know, what should be the next one? Everyone, a bunch of people were like, you do Johnny. And I'm thinking, okay, fine. I Yeah, I could do that. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This will be Techie 101 signing out. Know the voice, guys. Know the voice.